Hey everybody, this is Chris Leggins, MobilitySite.com. Today I'm here to introduce to you, do a little quick first look at the Palm Trio 750 on the Singular Network. This is the first Windows Mobile powered Trio on the uh, on a GSM carrier, and this happens to be the Singular version. Don't know if T-Mobile has one coming in the U.S. or not. Over in Europe, uh, Vodafone has the Trio 750V which is almost identical to this device. I don't believe there's anything different. Um, I might be wrong, but I haven't had a Vodafone version. But it's, there's a few differences between this and the, uh, the uh, 700W and WX versions, but we'll go over those. This is uh, running on the singular network, like I said. It's got a, uh, runs 3G. It's a quad band GSM phone. The only other 3G enabled Windows Mobile phones on the singular network are the uh, single 8525 and the Blackjack right now so this is in pretty elite company it will become a norm eventually that'll be expected there is no Wi-Fi no Wi-Fi on this one it's kinda of disappointing for some but I don't use it that often anymore so I don't care uh, <laughs> so anyway this is a it's got a 300 megahertz processor it's a Samsung processor a mini SD card which uh, allows you to use up to a 2 gig mini SD slot or mini SD card instead of SD in previous uh, trios. Uh, 1200 mil milliamp hour, I had a hard time saying that always. A 1200 milliamp hour battery up under here, which is, you can see right there. And, oops, got to be careful with this uh, battery cover. It doesn't. If it doesn't snap in place, it'll come off on you throughout the day. So, anyway, let's give you a little overview of the uh, functions. You got a, your uh, left and right soft keys. You've got right here your call button, your end button, your OK button, the Windows Mobile Start button, which brings up your menu here, and you have a QWERTY keyboard that is wonderful. It feels just just fine. I can use it even with my little fat fingers. So let's go. Over. We got a your speaker here. Let's go to the side here, and you will find your volume up and down. And this is a programmable uh, side key here. It comes default programmed for voice command, which I'll show you all in a little bit. On the top, you have your stylus silo here. That slides down in there. And, uh, come back here and this is a wonderful thing that Palm's been putting on their trios um, this is the call or the on and off for your uh, your uh, speaker if you're in a meeting and you don't want to hear your ringtone instead vibrate in your pocket you switch it to that position and if you get out of your meeting and you want to hear your, your ringtone again there you go it's pretty uh pretty good for the businessman on the side you've got your hour port and like I said you got your mini SD slot which is a little easier to open than I'm going to be able to do so it's got the spring loaded card. take card in and out pop it back in and you have a reset button right there instead of having to take the cover off the back of the 700 W and WX it's right there on the side and I've hit a volume button on the bottom you have your audio jack and you have your standard Palm Trio charge sync connector there it works uh, this particular model works with the cradle that I purchased for the 700W so I'm able to just go on with it on the back you have your battery compartment like I said I have a large speaker here 1.3 megapixel camera and I'll show you in here Take that battery out there. Unlike the 700 W and WX, this is a GSM phone and we have a SIM card. Which makes it a lot easier for me to just swap my card from phone to phone than getting online, typing in all these IME codes and junk. So here we go. Like I said, put that on real good or it'll come off later, I promise. I've already had it happen. Alright. So while we're booting up here, I'll tell you that the the device compared to the others it's got a rubbery kinda paint and it feels softer and almost like you're not gonna drop it but it's actually lighter feeling than the 700W 
Uh, and I think that has a little bit to do with this stainless steel monster of a stylus that it has here. So we'll show you a little side by side there. That's with the 700W. Uh, one of the biggest things about the uh, chassis that you'll notice is the big old antenna, which a lot of people use to get it out of their cases, or in my, my case, I keep it in my front pocket. I have a little time getting it pulled out now, but I've gotten used to it. A um, little thinner than the form factor. The keyboard slopes off where it squares off here. It slopes off a little, a little more drastically on this one, side by side. It's really not that much thinner, but the lack of the antenna really, really improved the form factor. And these feel a little, I mean, they feel solid. They're great devices, but they feel a little cheap compared to the feeling of this one. Not that it matters at all, but here's the 700WX. Same difference. One thing about the keyboard here, though, the black and white is reversed on both the 700W and the 700WX. I don't know what the uh, reason Before we for delve that into was. the software, let me give a little demo of voice command. I don't know if it's going to work good for me today because I'm got a little bit of an accent and voice command doesn't like rednecks that much. So let's see if it'll work for me here. Call Val. Snow at home, work, or mobile. Work. Cell. It didn't hear that part right, but it's calling Val Snow now. I'm going to go ahead and hit end. Oops, it didn't go through anyway. So, it's pretty neat. Um, Got to hold it down. What is my next appointment? On Friday, all day event. Backup database inside. Call Val Snow. See, I tried to be nice with it, and it didn't uh, didn't do very good for me. So anyway, voice command is getting better. It's getting better at recognizing the very first version of uh, voice command. I couldn't even get it to do anything. So anyway, let's take a look at the software here. I'm going to set this down and get a better angle. Get a zoom in here for us. One thing that Palm does that really, kind of like BASF, they don't make the products, they make them better. Palm doesn't make the OS, but it, they make them better. Make it better, excuse me. <laughs> uh, some of the things that Palm does with the Windows Mobile OS on top of what Microsoft has done is just amazing. One of the big things they did is this calling from the, like I can dial 205555 and you can dial right from the from the uh, screen there. It's pretty pretty nice. So anyway, let's cancel that out. Let's look at the settings here. One big thing that you'll see difference wise between this one and the 700W. The WX is doing okay but memory. If you look here our memory is so much better than with the, let me bring that up here see right there got 8 megabytes free for program memory right now and I don't believe anything is even running Active sync and text messaging. That's it. On here, we have 28 meg available, and what are we running here? We're just running active sync right now, but still. So, anyway, we've got a. Let's go to the About Us page and show you what you want to see here 43 megabytes, expansion slot in use. And that's basically all you see there. Trio 750, 1.1 singular ROM. And you don't need to see Miami and stuff, so let me get out of there. Alright, and you got your standard. There's not a lot with the software that Palms added. There's no add on software here, except for this wired car kit I don't recall seeing anywhere in voice command. 
Um, if you uh, use a wired car kit, you can mess around with that. Voice command is pretty great. You can set up a lot of options with voice command. Like uh, when I have a calendar reminder, whenever the alarm's set to go off, it'll say, um, you know, meeting so and so. You can turn that off, or you can have it set to only during free time. So if you're not in a meeting, it'll go off, but if you're in a meeting, it'll just buzz you. So let's see here. Let's look at some programs here. One thing this, I mean, this is a super device for email. Internet Explorer works pretty good. I'm not in a 3G area, but uh, I get pretty decent connect speeds. Let's see how quickly I can bring this up. This is AxumSite.com forums. Let's set this down and get you a better look there so you don't have to see my unsteady hands. There we go. That's a little better, I think. We can even get any even better right here. How's that? And that was pretty quick. Let's uh, bring up new posts. Oops, I think I hit today's post. Yep, still. Th I mean, this is this is without 3G. That's pretty fast. So anyway, one of the things I have an email queued up that I'm going to send. Um, let's bring up email here, and you'll see emails are. Um, right there but I have a let me close that for now we'll just look at it from the screen I have an email queued up to send to show the difference or how fast an email can come with a with an exchange server and that's the beauty of this I mean I'm I'm out there at the ball game I'm at work wherever my email comes into my email box on my exchange server and it's pushed almost directly immediately to the device and uh, just to, well, I don't need to do this. We'll just sit back and wait for it to come in. While we're waiting, <clears throat> let me tell you about some uh, uh, some of the other features of this device. It's really nice. The uh, 240 by 240 touchscreen is kind of a something a lot of people don't like, but it it gets. I mean, you get used to it, and if you think about it, you know, users of the blackjack like myself, I love the blackjack. I'm already used to that screen so I mean it's not bad uh, blue Bluetooth 1.2 it's good like I said it's got a 1.3 megapixel camera which uh, I don't really need a camera in my devices but I mean if you're gonna put a camera in there start to bump up the megapixels a little bit to make the people that do a little happier it really help out um, full QWERTY keyboard the thing only weighs 5.4 ounces so apparently this email is not going to come through because I probably have my um, settings set up to where it's not coming coming out or where it's not letting them through without prompting to be checked so I'm gonna go here to menu send and receive and this should get it started and when the emails get here I'm sure I've got a couple in the queue Yep, there we go uh, test for demo that's the one I just sent this is a test of the mobilitysite.com broadcast system. Had this been an actual emergency or should this have actually mattered, someone would have called you and not sent an email. So, and you see my picture came up with it from photo contacts. It's pretty, pretty cool, pretty quick. We'll send another one just to show how fast it'll get to you. Let me compose another real fast here. We'll take but a second. Call this one another test. And we'll hit send and we'll see how fast that comes to us. One thing that I really like uh, getting used to using a smartphone per se, where you don't have a touch screen with the like the blackjack, you don't you get used to not having your touch screen. And one thing that the trio does real well is being able to use this device without having look at that I think it right no this hadn't come yet without actually having to touch the screen I'll show you that with uh, I can go here and hit the call button and it brings up a menu and these are the last few people that I've called 
and let's say I wanted to call Val Snow. I click on her contact and call her, or I can click to the right a little bit and get the choice of her phone numbers. So if I think no, she left her office and I want to call her mobile, I can do it that way. And you can just go down the list and pick whoever. Uh, that's a friend of mine. Sorry about that. And to get out of that, if you decide you didn't want to be there, just go to the left. It's real nice. Email, bam, there you are. You can do a lot right here from the screen. Hit OK and get out of there. I want to check out my contacts. Go to contacts. Wow. There we go. So, um, one thing, uh, a big journalist for the Wall Street Journal had a big complaint when the 700W came out about email and how hard it was to delete. I want to show you something here. Oops, I didn't. Okay. I'm not doing something right here. Come on. <laughs> I'm failing at my own game here. Now, how hard was that? Okay, if I really wanted to get into it, okay, I hit menu, delete. Did that even take long? So, anyway, I, I just don't find that unfounded. It's so easy to maneuver. Uh, now, you can actually, without going into, without even using a stylus, I can change folders. Go down here to go to folders. I mean, it's just, I mean, I want to go to my junk email. It, it's right there. So, apparently I have it set up to where it's not pushing my email because uh, it's not coming out without trying to get it. So that, that little test failed for me. I, it might be that I'm on a slower connection and not, you know, in a real good area. So, I don't know. But anyway, this is the Trio 750. You can get it on the singular network. It's a great device. I've been using it for about two weeks now, and I have been nothing short of impressed. Before we go, uh, there's one other thing that's been hot on a lot of people's list about the device, and that's the battery life. Um, Palm is telling us we're going to get about four or five hours of talk time, and that's been pretty consistent using with and without a Bluetooth headset that I've found. And I have made a lot of calls on this so far. If you look here, go to my call log, and then we'll go down here to call timers I mean I've had this two weeks and I've already made what thousand four minutes worth of calls so it's a uh, <laughs> it's definitely let's see how many I've made just this week we'll hit reset all calls is a thousand so about 500 of them were in the last week so it it's held up pretty good I have only gone one day where I was in fear of not getting home on one battery and I got home with 2% and I posted about it so it's a really nice device and we'll show you oh and here's the stylus it's a little plastic with a little metal at the end it's real lightweight not much different than the others so I'll leave you with a little image of the first Windows Mobile Trio the second one and the fourth the third being the 750 over in Europe with the Vodafone 750V. There's your family Windows Mobile on a Palm device. It's a wonderful thing. And this 750 has topped them all so far.